Good evening, everybody. Good evening, my friends, my co traders, my subscribers, my students. I greet you all. Yesterday, or is it two days ago, I promised to make another video. I mean, more, to analyze more pace. I want to keep my promise. Remember to sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, join my Telegram group where you can learn to do what I do to make money from the comfort of your home. Forest is good if you know what you are doing. So uh, remember today is 6th December 2020, 9:59 p.m. So remember, I teach you, I teach. Uh, almost free, just a, a, a little money. But at the end of the, by, by by January, I will increase the price because uh, the price I charge is beyond, is beyond the reasonable. So you can make use of the opportunity and and, subs, and join my students and pay a little money. I always put the, the the details of everything on the description of my videos. There you can find the link to join my Telegram channel and others. Even my personal phone number, in case you use, use WhatsApp, I want to call me or SMS or whatever, you see it there. Okay, let's get to the business. This is uh, AUD USD. How is it dollar? It's been long, I haven't touched this pair. But I, as you can see, nothing has changed on daily time frame. So one or two things is possible here. Either that, either this way before is over, and we are we, we are going, we, we we're gonna go higher. This wave has been broken, but not with force. The movement is very weak. So I'm expecting that uh, this is a uh, WX, WXY. I mean, this X might be uh, an irregular correction. That is a, a kind of uh, either running flat or expand them flat so we might move a little bit and come back here or even here so what i'm trying to say is that if you want to buy a ud usd you have, you have to be careful because on the major on the bigger time frame we are expecting a drop okay maybe if you are if you are a scalper or you trade the lower time frame it, it might be good to trade on one hour downwards but if you, are, if you are a swing trader, be patient and know where, what is happening. Okay, that's for daily uh, candle. Let's go to four hours. You can see four hours, just as I said. Now, let me give you the details of the count on four hours. That, this is that the X you see, and Y is there. Now, you can see this is wave one, two, three, wave four. And uh, this move is a. Uh, and ending diagonal, though not a perfect one, but you know, things are not, things are not perfect, so perfect in the Elliott wave count these days. But you can see the, the wave five is unfolding in five, in five sub waves one, two, three, four, five. This is five, but something, something might still happen. The fifth, the fifth might still have some movement before it completes. Then we are expecting a drop. So to be on the safe side, don't just sell or just buy. You're gonna look wait for the close below this line to make sure that this very structure is over. Only a break and close the below this line which will prove that this structure is over. So be patient and wait for it to break before you sell. But I, I discourage buying. Uh, no matter that this very line has been broken, which is the previous high, but as, as you can see, it broke, it broke, but not with force. It is just sluggish and slow. So, and when price is being slow and sluggish, the price might move to the opposite, the opposite direction at any moment. So, I'm looking for sell, not buy. This is four hours. Then, okay, one hour. Same thing. Uh, no much between four hours and one hour. Only that uh, I wonder why we, we can see that uh, the price can still go higher, maybe somewhere here before finally going down. Or if it breaks here, it's gonna maybe bounce here, come back here and break it. So I'm only looking for sell on AUD USD period. Okay, <clears throat> US 500, 
daily chart. Yes, 500 <coughs> is uh, even like AUD USD. I we, we just discussed the uh, the price have broken the previous high. This previous side it have broken it, but as you can see this move is somehow corrective and not impulsive. And when, uh, since it, it, it is uh, corrective, we might see a drop, maybe a drop here and continue going up. So what I'm saying, if you are going up, if you, if you are buying, not be in a haste to buy, unless it's a strong move, maybe a, 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 this kind of move. If you see it, then you, look, you wait for a correction and you will buy. On daily, let's see what's happening. Oh, okay, now I'm I'm see, expecting that we might have a drop here. That this way before might not have ended. We might have uh, well before. Then this will be W X Y. The X will be an uh, irregular flat that comes down here, or maybe a, a running flat that comes somewhere here and go up. If it didn't break this low, it means that we before have ended here. And we continue to impulse. No doubt the trend is up, but I know you can enter by carelessly. The, the price will keep going down and take your, your, your stop loss before it, it turns back to buy. So be careful with this trade. Uh, for hours, you can see this channel is a, is a corrective move, it's not so impulsive. This is an example of an impulse. You can see how the steep and sharp the price is. This is this is a, a correction. This is impulse. This is supposed to be an impulse, but it's an impulse. It's a, it's a motive, but it's slow. It's uh, moving correctively. Hence, it's a broken here. We can we can take it as an impulse, but the price action is slow and sluggish. So I'm expecting if I get a, a drop below here. And uh, this kind of flag, I will sell heavily. Okay. This chart is one hour. There's nothing to show on one hour. Only that uh, we can consider it. Uh, maybe we have one, two, three. Then W S Y. Then four. And we have five is a kind of five waves. Maybe this is one, two, three. This might be four. We might have some push. Maybe. Something, maybe a kind of a little. We might have something like this. This this type of move here before we sell. But I, uh, uh, but I, uh, it's not. I don't. I cannot encourage anybody buying from here, unless if if you see a strong move. If, even if you see a strong move, we need to know what's happening on there and forward before we buy, because this area is the terminal area. Uh, it, it is always advisable to wait to know what's ha happening before you trade where we have a terminal area. Okay. Next pair, Euro NZD. Uh, this very pair, uh, the price action have not been so so friendly. Let me say it like that. But uh, no matter what's happened, this very move is correction. Sorry, is an impulse. And this is correction. All this is correction. And uh, one thing, the correction has touched at 8.6 FIBO. Sometimes we get 99.9% .9 correction. So that's why I put this, this very red line. If price will still go down, it might still come down. But if price goes below here, I forget about the buying. Then I will say, I know that this is why it's still, maybe I'll, I'll change the account. So, but for now, I'm looking for buy setup. I can see that we we, 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 we need to buy. The market maybe buy maybe one point eight zero zero. Okay, let's go to four hours to see what we have there. On four hours, as you can see, this okay. I labeled four hours. This is with one, two, three, four, and five. And five is also an ending the diagonal. Though the internal structure is not. Uh, an ideal, but with this and this is any, any diagonal, but not, not well detailed internally. And uh, this is wave Y, a, a, a type of point six people. And you can see this wave one, two, three. We are looking for wave four, 
maybe ABC, it might come down sharply or, or what, but I'm looking for a pullback as well before, it might be here, it might be a running flat or whatever, and uh, if I get a bounce, I mean, if I get a sharp move of candle or maybe something like this, if I get this kind of candle anywhere around here, I will buy, and I'm not going to mind this very line. I will buy because I strongly believe that the, the selling has been so long and the, the buying might take some time before the, the sellers will appear. So I, I'm looking for buy. Okay, this is a, a terminal point. So I'm not, I'm not going to sell no matter what's happening here. Even if, if, even if I see a sharp candle like this, I'm not going to sell because you might see this type of candle and this type will follow again. So be careful if, if I send you Euro, Euro NZD, okay? I want to uh, uh, give us more details on what is happening here. This is uh, we have one, two, then three, one, two, three, four, five, and we, we're going to have four. Maybe anywhere from here, we're going to get to four. And you can see this very wave one is have five waves, types of waves. One, two, three, A, B, C, four, and five. Then this is A, B, C. So it's a, a good example of a dot wave. And something we you need to know on a dot wave is that what happens in a small time frame will always repeat itself on a bigger time frame. So as we have gotten a real count of five, uh, five waves on wave on one of our chart, we will likely see it sometime in four hours, in six hours, eight hours, daily, weekly, and so on. So, but right now, I, I'm looking for buy on, on Euro NZD. Okay, what next do you have here? USD, JPY, pounds yen. Uh, recently the pounds yen is just making fun of everybody, including myself. This very this very move is is, uh, is just terrible. It, it's like the it's like the trend to move up. So it forced me to go back to monthly charts. This is one month, and you can see one month we have a complete half wave structure. One month. This is wave one. You can see this is ninety seventy six. See this ninety seven something. So. Monthly chart because see this is wave one, two, three, four, and five. <coughs> so whatever is happening here, we are looking for a correction around this area. That is around once one forty, one fifty, one sixty, but you don't need to be looking at this chart. It's a, it's a monthly chart. So it takes decades, millennium to develop. Then let's see weekly. My weekly chart. There's nothing. There's nothing rational I can see here, if not A, B, C. So there's nothing rational I can see on weekly chart, if not A, B, C. And uh, internally, you can see this is a, a perfect air wave. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect air wave. And with B, this is A of B. Then this is W X Y, that is B of B. Then we're gonna have C of B. So expect if uh, we have, if the the price finally buys, maybe sometime this year, maybe I mean sometime next year we might have a bullish run, which will likely come to 120 or thereabout. Maybe before the end of this year, we might get to 120, which will complete W, X, Y. Then after that, we will have a cell to complete the B. That is the A, B, then maybe in the next three, four, five years, we will see price run to 140, 145, 150 to complete the monthly cycle of a B C. So what am I? What did I go down to this very uh, details? Because for long, uh, 
USDJ people have been have uh, has become Maradona or Messi, dribbling everybody. So, but uh, I I need to do something to know exactly where we are going. So, the only thing is there that we are is it, not a sell market right now, but rather a buy. Okay, let's go to daily candle. Okay, daily. Uh, you, you you get more details on daily. So remember, we are we are looking for uh, wave B down. But before then, we're gonna have this wave B, uh, wave C of B before it go down. So right now, I am expecting this type of move to happen here. Now I mean this is A, then the B W X Y B, and uh, from all from every indication, I don't see this price going below this very sharp re rejection so this is 102 i mean it's somehow somehow below 102 anyway but let's say this 102 i don't see this price going below the 102 even if we we, we, we have a, a, another drop it might it might not go beyond, beyond this 102 but so uh, i'm just looking for when i enter a buy then the buy will be I divide will be a long term trade. So whatever is happening, maybe by, by next year we might get 120, 118, 119, so around this area. So that's what I can see on AU um USDJPY. On four hours, on four hours, uh, you can see this is a, this is an impulse. And whatever is happening here is correction. WXYXZ is a correction. And are, as you can see now. It rejected the seventy eight point six people level. I mean from here to here eight point six. So the worst scenario we might have is the price to turn back here to come to eight point six. So I mean this channel might the price might still come back to this channel, which will terminate on eight point six. So that's why you have patience. If you want to buy, as I'm trying to buy, I can only buy if I see this. If I, if I see a PS of this very line, then the correction, and I will buy. So, uh, I, I, I bought from here, I sold here, and I was trying to buy again, and it keeps going down. Sometimes I took a loss, then I, I started to have patience before I buy again. So I will just wait to a break of here and I will buy. But selling, no way. I, I'm not selling. <coughs> what again? I think we we have one hour. Let's DJPY one hour. Okay, anyway, there, there are nothing to shoot on one hour anyway. So I didn't label one hour. So four hour is where we have something reasonable. So four hours, no need to go into, down to four hour. I mean, no need to go to four because there, there, there are nothing there. We can see Okay, market uh, market is open already. You can see the price is moving. So what do we have? I'm looking for a buy. We might see have some some selling, but I will ignore whatever is happening until I get above this very line. Then I will look for buy. So this is all I can do for today. Remember, like and share my video. If you have a friends who want to trade forest, invite them, give them my link, let them join my my Telegram group. I teach people, and I, I charge very small, very small right now. Next year, I will change the price. So enjoy yourself, trade with care, use stop loss, not over trade. Uh, money, risk management is very important in trading because, uh, as they say, he who fights and run away rush to fight another day. So you, you, you this is a war. You fight so that you, you, you continue to fight and win. If you finish your money because you are greedy, what does it mean? Uh, mean? Or if you miss opportunity because you, you are fearful, what does it mean? So when you come, we, we teach you both psychological and how to read charts. Because sometimes when you see a buy setup, you will ignore it out of fear. And when you see a uh, uh, price moving, maybe you see something like this moving. Fear, 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 fear. Maybe you saw it here, and you, you might think it will continue forever. And you, 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 you enter here, then this happened. You, you, you become afraid, you close it tomorrow. 
you, you see it here. It's, oh, it's going again. You, you, you enter here again. You drop again. You close. Then tomorrow you, you see it here again. You, you enter again. It comes back. You, you lose four times in a week. Or even, even it, it, it was, you, you become confused. But if you join us, we teach you. When you see this, you know that this, the market is no longer moving, that it will come back and it, it will happen like that. So join us and learn how to do what you are doing. God bless you. Bye-bye.